it's good to see you. I don't think I've talked to you since you were uh, in high school. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute. Congratulations on coming back here. Uh, give me your thoughts on uh, being back in Colorado, not only with the Buffaloes, but being close to home. Oh, uh, you know, that's a big thing. Um, something coming out of high school, I always wanted to come to see you and not given that opportunity. Um, now, given it, uh, it's been a blessing. Uh, it's somewhere I always wanted to be, but being back home by the family and actually having family members that can come see, hopefully, with the only four tickets we get. But you know what I'm saying? Like, having them around to see my fifth year is really meaningful to me. And then if I could ask a follow-up, you know, obviously this year is unique and that eligibility does not count. You're a fifth-year senior already. Uh, Taylor Embry was telling us he wishes he had you from the beginning, and you're still fairly new to tight end. Have you thought about coming back for a sixth year next year? I mean, I definitely have. Only having one year of tight end under my belt and this being the second, another year could very benefit me very well. And it's definitely a possibility, and we just have to see what the, where this year goes, you know, and playing time and my success there. But it's definitely a possibility. Let's go to Adam Munster Dagger. Hi, Matt. Uh, thanks for joining us. You mentioned only having one year of tight end experience under your belt. What, what's been that the, the most difficult part of that transition from quarterback to tight end? And when did you start to feel comfortable in, in the role? Um, probably one of the most difficult things would be like the run blocking footwork and just being a little bit more physical. You know, quarterback, you're stepping back in the pocket. You're not getting touched during practice. Um, but one thing that came well was route concepts. I see offensive pass plays a little differently. I'm not just looking at, oh, what does the Y have? I'm seeing a full picture, and it kind of makes it a little bit easier to understand and grasp what we're trying to do. Um, but, yeah. Let's go to Justin Guerrero. Matt, thanks for your time. I uh, appreciate it in advance. Um, I mean, you're obviously not the only grad transfer uh, tight end in this room right now, and you've got a tested veteran and Brady Russell, Luke Stilwell, who's been here for a year. Really just this tight ends room has, has really had a lot of additions, uh, yourself included, over the last few months. And when you look to your left and look to your right in terms of the skill sets you've got, the versatility within that room, just how are the guys looking? What can you tell us just about the, the guys around you in the tight ends room? Yeah, I mean, we all look good and we all have our strengths and weaknesses in different areas. Um, but I think the coaching staff knows where to put us to succeed. And having Brady Russell and some of those guys that's been around They've been great leaders, um, and they kind of brought us a well and got us up to speed uh, as fast as possible. So it's looking good for the tight end room right now. Uh, back to Brian Hell. So, Matt, I'm curious uh, you know, how excited your parents were when you decided to come back and, and how involved they were in your decision. Um, yeah, they were fired up. Um, they kind of supported me with whatever I chose, uh, but they were very happy that coming back home was the decision I made. And back to Adam Munster Tiger. Speaking of family, you have a brother up there at CSU. What was your reaction when the Rocky Mountain Showdown got, got canceled? And what's it like in your house right now with your family and just kind of their allegiance to, to, to the in-state schools? <laughs> yeah, uh, we were bummed. You know, my mom was pretty fired up, both parents fired up about us squaring off. Um, but the fact that it's not happening now, we can get everyone on CU, on board with CU, you know what I'm saying? And back to Brian Howell. So, you know, Coach Jarrell's been asked this quite a bit that uh, his first game is going to be against the team that he coached like 13 years ago. But for you, it's against a team that you were just with. So what are your emotions as you saw that on the schedule? You knew it was going to be at some point, but facing UCLA right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, that was something I was hoping for, to get to play them within our six-game season. Uh, but getting them right off the bat, something I'm fired up about. Uh, but right now, we're just focused on what we can do. We haven't really looked that far. Um, just trying to get us up to speed and focus on what we're doing as a color football team. And one more if I could ask you. I know you did this at UCLA. Have you worked as a holder at all in practice? We'll see you. I have. I have. Um, I'm running with the ones now with holding. Um Coach Reinert was at UCLA my first two years there. Uh, so we've kind of built a little bit of relationship, and he trusts me there. So whatever I can do to help the team, I'm all about. So you're currently sitting there as that number one holder? Yes, sir. Okay.